Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here at Ibex Police Station. Just um, an update. Um, the former First Lady, um, Madam Esther Lungu, uh, has been formally arrested, uh, I think on four counts. The police are alleging that uh, there were three motor vehicles that were stolen, a certificate of title for a property in Libala, and uh, for the former First Lady, they've um, also given a separate charge relating to proceeds of crime relating to the $400,000. Um, the, the four, I think, have remained detained. You can hear the confusion at the back, I think, with the family and supporters of um, uh, the former First Lady and the First Family, you know, arguing with the police at the back. But that is a development. The former First Lady, Mama Esther Lungu, with four others, have been charged and arrested for counts of um, theft of three motor vehicles and um, a certificate of title and being in possession of $400,000. But an update. What happened? What has been this case? You remember that the First Lady gave a niece for safe custody an amount of $400,000. Then she proceeded to give this money to persons that have been identified as Elizabeth Chanjapiri and her daughter Fulan Patel. Few months later it was discovered that this money was missing. So the former First Lady came and reported the theft of that money here and the persons that have been co-charged with her are those police officers that carried out the task to recover and settle the agreement in which the accused persons you know, surrendered these three vehicles and the property in Libala, which were proceeds from the $400,000. These, these matters occurred between May 2022 and September 2022. But what then happened, you know, with the politics, earlier this year, the very people that had taken a $400,000 came and reported to the police that the, that their property, the three vehicles, and the property in Livala, certificate of title, were stolen by the former first lady. So while she's been a victim, she complained to the police. The sad part about it is that the police that even proceeded to pursue the crime of this $400,000 are now co-charged with her. Uh, uh, um, and for, for, for the former first lady, I think she was very calm. The lawyers will come and speak to you about the details and the law, but this is a matter that quickly from the bare facts, you can see that you, the owner of the $400,000, now you are being turned to be the thief. There is an agreement, I'm aware, in which there was a settlement, in which these persons that had misappropriated this $400,000, then surrendered the Mitsubishi Kanta, the Toyota Alex, the Toyota Ranex, and the property in Libala. So these are the developments here. Uh, let me find out. We hope that the former first lady can be granted police bond. We have already secured sureties, and we hope that uh, uh, she, you know, should be released. We are on new territory where the former first lady is now being arrested. Thank you very much, family, and thank you for all that who are listening to us. Oh, 